Hi everyone, this is Teacher Rappel, and today I will be discussing about Gottman scale, its definition, example, and steps on how to create it. Gottman scale was developed by Louis Gottman in 1994. It is known as cumulative scaling or scalogram analysis. This is typically done in yes-no format. This is a group of questions which tend to investigate trait or behavior. Gottman scaling is the technique of mixing questions up in a sequence they are asked so that respondents don't see that several questions are related. Every statement will have a corresponding weight associated with it. The accumulation of the weight according to the respondents' answers will help in, in predicting the number of statements agreeable to the respondents. Scoring system is based on how closely they follow a pattern of increasing attitude towards the topic. For example, statement number one states, Do you eat candies? Number two, do you eat chocolates? Number three, do you eat cakes? It can be inferred that individuals who agree to the statement placed at, end, at the end of the list would have agreed to all the other statements above the last one. For example, those who answered yes to number three or statement number three would also answer yes to statement numbers one and two. Steps in constructing Gottman scale. The first step is defining the focus. Select a topic on where you should be testing. For example, about the uh, sweets. Then develop a list of statements. Gottman scale statements are often expected to be 80 to 100 in number for reasonable results. Then associate the values to each of the statements. The experts involved in the process of creating the statements should assign values to each of the statements according to their importance. The experts are expected to answer yes if the statement is in favor of the topic and no if the statement is not in favor. Then, structure the Gottman scale for analysis. The answers received for various statements can be represented in a table just like what is shown here. For example, the respondent number 8 answered yes on statement number 1 and yes on statement number 2 and yes also on statement number 3. While the respondent number 35 answered yes for statement number 1 and answered yes on statement number 2 and no in the statement number so in the given table, if an individual agrees to statement number three, it indicates that the individual must have agreed to the preceding statements. In other words, on the statements one and two. The next step is to administer the scale. After decide, deciding the items or the statements of the scale, it is to be administered to the respondents. So the key points to remember, Gottman scaling is a technique of mixing questions up in a sequence they are asked so that the respondents don't see that the several questions are related. And this is a group of questions which tend to investigate a particular trait or behavior. So here are the references for this video. So that ends the video on Gottman scaling. So thank you very much for watching and see you in my next videos.